Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we keep talking about doom and gloom, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what you have to do. You have to put a big smile on your face whenever you hear doom and gloom, or other words, a recession. Now's the time to buckle up because we have some things that we can take advantage of and we're going to talk about that today as well as the doom and gloom procrastinators and welcome stop struggling now gear check and please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates now let's get to it ladies and gentlemen and once again you're at the stop struggling now youtube channel page so please share the videos this is how we can help one two five a thousand ten thousand a million people you never know who you can touch by sharing a video and also notice notice the join button over here on the right hand side that's how you become a member of the channel by hitting the join button showing some additional support and under the community tab you receive one or two videos per month specifically for you you also can be on the live streams with me and then on Wednesday night where it's members only with the icons that can be in the chat room while everybody else can watch those are some of the perks that you enjoy now without further ado let's get into it doom and gloom we're gonna talk doom and gloom but you guys know I have a plan for this doom and gloom because there has to be a way to make passive income a way to make commissions a way to invest by the little man the OCs, let's call it. Original citizens, ordinary citizens. All right, look here. We're going to talk about this. This 75 basis points by the Federal Reserve, that was basically a month ago. So this is from June 22nd, this article, but it's Morgan Stanley, an investment firm. Here's what they're saying. The likelihood of a recession on most econometric models has now risen from 30% percent to about 60 percent so you can imagine if they increase the interest rate again another 0.75 percent does that mean we're going to get closer to 100 percent on a recession or are we already in a recession ladies and gentlemen you tell me because that's doom and gloom what they're giving me here in june of 2022 here's bloomberg something a little different after the 75 basis points they sit here and say a mild U.S. recession is coming this year, Bank of America economists say. Man, these economists can't get everything together. They have the same information, but they're coming out with a little bit different storyline. I wonder why. It may have to do with who you are. Morgan Stanley, they're an investment firm. They have to watch out and retain funds, right? So you can't lead your investors astray because too far off the plantation because they might start withdrawing. B of A as a bank, they need you to put your money at a bank. That's why, in my opinion, when they say things like a mild U.S. recession, there's no reason to panic. Keep your money in my bank so we can use it, so we can leverage it. All I'm saying is this is why you have to do your own due diligence, ladies and gentlemen. But there is one thing here. Fortune magazine, well, Let's just say what it is. In June, they said over two thirds of economists believe in a recession is likely to hit in 2023, not 2022, 2023. So you guys here in the SSN Nation, you know if you've been on the live streams and if you've been checking out some of these videos, I've been saying this is like 1929 all over again. I'm going to show you the charts just to prove it once to re-enlighten you a little bit. And what I mean by this is the stock market goes down 3-4%. 
Then all of a sudden it goes up one, two percent, then goes down four, five percent, then goes up one percent, then goes down. We have the stair step down. Well, guess what? It's happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. And the same forces that caused the 1929 crash. Well, let's just say it's worse now. All right. Here it is. Here's the chart through July 13th year to date. That means January 1st through July 13th. You can see it for yourself. Look here, ladies and gentlemen, the indexes for the U.S. stock market, negative 15.32% for the Dow, negative 28% for the NASDAQ, negative 20% for the S&P 500. When you add all these together, that is roughly 20, that's 48, that's 63, that's a negative 20%, ladies and gentlemen, year to date on the indexes themselves. If you pick certain stocks, you may not be down. But if you pick in the indexes, you could be down. So you tell me what this looks like, because if you've been paying attention, some of these numbers have fluctuated a little bit. But overall, when you add them together, before it was around 61%. And when you add all these together, it's around 63%. So we're still trending down. The numbers don't lie. But of course, we're going to have days where the stock market has these pops. So therefore, if it goes by another day or two, it could either go further down or there could be a pop back up. That's the way the stock market operates because they don't want to have a drop where you're calling it Black Friday or Black Monday, right? So we stair step down to keep you sleeping. So what are we going to do? If you missed the live streams, you guys may have missed the videos. We need to earn money while we're doing nothing how can you do that here is crypto tab i talked about it on the wednesday night live stream i've made a video about it but apparently people don't want to use this crypto tab to earn free bitcoin doesn't it make much more sense to buy something when the price is lower but if they're going to give it to you for free and yes it's only going to be pennies but you have a way to work your pennies into dollars and what i mean by that is this is a browser so it uses your software of whatever device you have. So the faster your computer, your phone, your laptop, or your tablet is, the more pennies of Bitcoin you can earn. And you can hook up more than one device. So if you have all those devices that I said, and they're sitting in the closet or sitting on a table, not even in use, why aren't you getting your free Bitcoin from CryptoTab? Again, it's a browser and then beautiful thing about this is is that you can share a link there's a 10 referral system so now you have four devices you have two or three or four other people that say you know what i want to earn some free bitcoin while i'm at my office or while i'm on vacation or while i'm even at home and the other computers are sitting there anyhow why not run it and earn some crypto and share with other people so now you're building up your own network can you imagine that, ladies and gentlemen? So now you get a fifth of a penny and now somebody else is getting into it and you have three or four other people and now they're giving a one cent a day. It all adds up. But you want to get Bitcoin. You want to buy stocks. You want to buy real estate at their lowest levels, especially if they're giving them away for free. So the link is down below in the description. Sign up for free. Turn on as many devices as you have laying around run it off uh, make sure your computer is uh, void of any anything you want to lose due to hackers or anything like that in case you're worried about that and share with other people why not I'm just saying so we're going to keep moving along that line because of course I'm going to talk about doom and gloom of course I'm going to talk about Michael Berry of course I'm going to talk about what we're going to do about it to combat it but again you guys know everybody knows I've been talking about Webull for two years so get your six free shares of stock from Webull now how you get that you're going to get a couple or one when you download it and set up an account you're going to get some more if you deposit one dollar or more in your account then they add some more of those free funds to you but that's not all ladies and gentlemen you should be using your link because they have a referral program too the big boys everybody has a referral program so refer somebody else you get some more free shares of stock and in the month of july you get 
10 free shares of stock when another person signs up using your link. So there goes two places. All of this is free. Nobody's asking you to pay anything, but I have something that you can pay into. And instead of me, you know, promoting other people, well, because of you here in the SSN Nation, we're going to promote SSN Nation stuff. How about that? All right. And Robinhood has the same thing. Get your free shares of stock from Robinhood. Robinhood, the links are down below and they do the same thing, except they're not as aggressive as Webull. All they do is generally just give you one free share of stock. When you refer another person, they'll give you another free share of stock. But they still have a referral link and referral codes, too. So why not take advantage of that? Now, we're going to get into the creme de la creme is what I call it, because the CEO is in the house here in the SSN Nation. We're creating this for you. Just keep that in mind. There's a membership fee. Yes, it goes from $149, $349, $599 up to the Founders Club of $2799. That's $2799. But that's very special. You got to see what you get with Founders Club. But the point I'm trying to make is you can also have a free membership. And the other point I'm trying to make is, notice there's a shop here. Just like somebody would have an Amazon and you send people to Amazon, and that's the race to the bottom because most people are getting the same items from Asia, Asian markets. So if I have to buy a thousand units in the Asian market and it costs me $2.50, and my competitor says, well, I'm only gonna buy a hundred units, but it's only gonna cost him $2.80, either way, if we try to sell on Amazon, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, 30 cents is the difference, 40 cents is the difference, but I'm gonna put it on the marketplace and I'm gonna undercut you. It doesn't matter because that's gonna be profit. So therefore, there's a race to the bottom as I call it. Whereas you come over here to SSN Lifestyle and look at what products we have. Look at the passive income opportunity that's available to you. The first people that put in the 5,100 is going to earn anywhere from 5% to 0% every week. Every week, there's going to be a payout. Your money's going to be locked for a week. But again, check this out. Health products are coming, ladies and gentlemen. This is already available. SSN Lifestyle Body Balance Cream. You receive commission when you send someone over here to buy the Body Balance Cream. Or when somebody says, hey, I wanted to go to next year's Essence Festival in New Orleans and somebody comes over here and buys you receive commission and if you refer another person that becomes a member or an affiliate you receive commission from commissions they receive and new products coming out these are already going to be available you can pre-order now they're coming out in seven to ten days also look at this there's more vacation rentals we're talking about scottsdale las vegas new orleans hawaii you name it ladies and gentlemen and if you're going to join ssn lifestyle you have to be a member or open to the general public as well but nonetheless here's where you get your tickets and founders club members guess what you're vip you've already paid your tickets are already paid for for every ssn lifestyle event that's part of being in the founders club Whenever we have a personal event, you always have VIP status. You always get in the venue and events for free. And there's always a VIP place inside of parties. So I'm just saying that's how we have to do it. Now, let's get back into the doom and gloom, because is it really doom and gloom when somebody's giving you a lifeline? I don't think so. Now, let's go. Here's gold and silver, which most people sit there and tell me. Shout out to my man, Yankee Stacking because he's been on the channel before and we've had little discussions about why would somebody invest in gold, silver, and precious metals. You know, the hedge against inflation is what they call it. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go with silver prices because again, gold's coming down as well, but I'm gonna talk about silver prices. Look at this, 2020, 47% increase. But in the last two years, when inflation has went up arguably 20% each year, it's went negative 11%. How is this possible if it's a hedge against inflation? Shouldn't this be up 20% or up 10% or up 15%? At least what the government numbers are, right? But it's not, ladies and gentlemen. That just tells you this is not your grandpa's economy anymore because there's something called crypto, which is down, who knows how much, 50, 60, 70% that people have took their money off the table, gave it to the crypto gods, some of those crypto projects vanished. That money that traditionally would have been sitting somewhere where people would have had a 
uh, a benefit of making deals, making maneuvers, making financial decisions by saying, hey, let me take this money back out. I lost 10 percent. I lost 20 percent. Wait, this is going down more. I, I don't want to keep losing. That money was not available to get back. And some people might have put it into stocks, into gold, silver and precious metals. That's why it's different now, because there's another asset class where there are trillions of dollars that have been lost that traditionally wouldn't have been over here in this black hole area. It would have been either in the stock market or people would have been buying precious metals and maybe even buying bonds. But all I'm saying is the ecosystem has changed, ladies and gentlemen. So this doom and gloom, you best believe doom and gloom is for real, except think about trillions of dollars gone, all right, from investors just on the crypto market. I'm not gonna talk about the stock market because during the losses, there's money gone as well. So let's go to this right here. Look at this. Silver is now under $19. Now, I got to chirp up every now and then because, again, you guys don't know what's going on around here, but I pride myself on giving you information. And you know I made a video two or three weeks ago talking about, hey, now is the time that you might want to start thinking about getting into gold and silver. When it was $20.50 or thereabouts, I said, this is the time, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to go down. They're going to manipulate it because they don't want you buying gold and silver when the stock market goes down because that's locked up. That means you are not going to be selling it and then going back to buy stocks. And you're probably not going to be going to buy crypto either. So they know this, so the manipulation is real, and sure enough, it's under $20. And all you gold and silver stackers, like I said, you guys can do what you want to do, but numbers don't lie, and the situation is different than before. So when you before were gloating, when it was $26, $27 a share, when gold was near $1850, $1900, $1925, you guys were like, I'm buying more. Well, see, you bought some more at a higher price, plus you paid a premium on it. Now you're down 20, 30 percent when you start looking at the real numbers. And then you say it's a hedge against inflation. Well, your money's in a black hole right now. It's not earning a damn thing. You can sit there and tell me due to the cost of living increase five, 10, 20 years from now, Gold and silver may cost you more, but so what? You got it in a black hole. It's not like you're going to sell it. And if it goes up 100%, you can't get up 100%. That's the problem. All right. That's what the situation is right now. So all that stacking for the last two, three, four, five years. Remember, you're paying today's cost, increasing your dollar cost average higher as the cost of gold, silver, and precious metals goes higher. Anyhow, this is about doom and gloom, but I just want to let you guys know, now is a good time to buy gold, silver, and precious metals, ladies and gentlemen, in this arena right here. Again, you guys know I went to that $13.50, $13.50 three years ago when we had the Silver Stacker Challenge, it was $13.50. 10 ounces of silver, including the premium, was 135 ladies and gentlemen so it must have bought i must have bought it under 12 it must have been 12 something but nonetheless three years later it's at under 19 so let's call it 19 right now all right so that's not bad you can call it hedge against inflation if you want to except when it was 2021 and the economy went down um you could have bought single digit things such as uh ford neo all the electric vehicle companies it, whoever was around were in single digits they're over 20 now or maybe even 14 15 but you would have five times your money six times eight times your money on the stock market and that's a hedge against inflation too as far as i'm concerned but nonetheless let's keep moving here it is ladies and gentlemen that chart the doom and gloom chart that you've been waiting for a lot of you are sitting here going come on eric you can't be serious. This is 1929 up here. That's exactly right. But here's what I'm showing you. Look at this. The stock market dropped. Now, look, this is about 375 and it drops down here to 250. That is pretty major. But then it goes up under 250. Let's call it 240 up to around 280. 
Okay, so think about when the stock market is around 240 and it goes up to 280, that's a significant move up. So people started jumping back in thinking, oh, good, it's over. But then look here, the stair step down, back down to 240, 230, 250, 2, whatever. Now it goes back up a little bit. All of a sudden, people are like, I'm not buying. And then a huge drop back down. And then people, for whatever reason, it, it's the bottom. Let me buy back in. And then notice over here on the right-hand side, took 25 years for the Dow Jones Industrial Average to get back to and exceed 1929 levels. So this is why I'm telling you, proceed with caution. When you have Morgan Stanley, when you have Bank of America economists, when you have Fortune telling you about other economists saying it's coming in 2023, that seems like this chart that I'm looking at right now going down slowly having some upsides then going down a little bit slower it's six months later then you have an upside then it's another month later now it's another four months later and next thing you know it's 1929 then it's 1930 then it's 1931 all i'm saying ladies and gentlemen this is looking very very familiar and you ca you have to take note and look at this this should scare you this is from 2000 because this is doom and gloom Look at this right here. You come down in 2000, then look at the highs in 2007, then look at the lows in 2007, eight and nine. Then we have a bull run out of all bull runs from 2009 all the way up until 2022 as far as I'm concerned. Some of you are gonna say, oh Eric, but what about that 2021? The only reason 2021 happened is because of the, the response to the pandemic. All right. That's the only reason lockdowns had to occur. You had to stop the economy. So, of course, prices are going to go. Nobody's going to be buying stocks when you got to worry about toilet paper, right? Water, food. You're not going to be coming out here buying stocks and all other kind of crazy things like that. So it dropped, but look, it quickly recovered once things got back open and look how high we are above these numbers, 2008, above 2000, remember the dot-com bust? Look how much further higher we are. This is down here at 25%. This is over 200. That's 125%. And in their case, they're calling it 181% from 20. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. The bubble just got huge. Does that remind you of anything? The bubble just got huge, <laughs> just like in the roaring 1920s. This is the roaring 2010 through 2022, ladies and gentlemen. Same type of bubble, except this time it's blown up bigger, badder, and worse than from before. Amazon, now, please, we just had a prime day one day ago, July 14th. Can you believe this? Ladies and gentlemen, I am shocked. They had a record prime day on the back of influencers going out here, helping them sell and influencers have millions of people following them and they're helping them boost the sales up. So apparently people have plenty of money to spend. Holy smokes. Is this incredible, ladies and gentlemen? This is incredible. All right, let me know what you think about that. So people are out here buying goods and services, record numbers, Amazon Prime Day. Meanwhile, they're saying, I don't care what's happening with the economy. I don't care what's happening with the uh, Federal Reserve, whether they're going to increase interest rates and that's going to cause the equity of my home to go down. If they're going to increase interest rates and credit markets are going to seize and freeze up, they're, they're, I, I might have to pay more in taxes and all my expenses well i'm bringing it to you again the doom and gloom just so you know what to do ladies and gentlemen here's the big short investor michael burry trumpets his successful market predictions and then he deletes his twitter again oh this is hilarious look at this on the right hand side tesla having a great day apple having a great day microsoft having a great day netflix having a great day and spotify having a great day in the sales. These are all sales companies, sale-based companies. Their stocks have increased. 
Stair step your way up, ladies and gentlemen, because on the way down, it's going to be one hell of a ride. And here's Michael Burry. I'm just going to give you guys an idea. He's, he's touting his 1999 tech bubble. Those 0, 01 through 0, 05 value revival that led to the 2005 housing bubble. The 2009 almond farms. The 2020 COVID bottom. That wasn't hard. We predicted the bottom here. In case you guys don't know, go back two years and check what stocks we were telling you to buy. Then go see what happened over the next year. And then you would have found out, oh, damn, we done went up 300, 400, 500, 1,000 percent. I got to get my profits and run. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We had it all in there, just like Michael Burry. I'm just saying. Funny how that works. 2021 MEM stocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, AMC, GameStop, we got in on that ride. $20, up to $225, up to $300 because of the shorts. Crypto leverage, see, he knew about the crypto leverage as well. We were talking about leveraging your crypto, but little did we know, the other companies were leveraging your crypto too. So leverage on top of leverage on top of leverage, oh my. A problem and now crypto's where it's at because of all this leveraging and then 2021 inflation we already knew that you guys knew this was coming ever since I showed up on the scene in 2018 and then 2019 I've been telling you this is the reasons why inflation is going to be off the charts in a couple years and then 2019 to 2020 saying the same things as they were printing more money it was just creating a bubble and here we are and in 2022, not done yet, late 2022, let's just call it what it is. Just like Gino Shimiente and myself when we're on live streams, we're the ones that already said Great Depression. That's what we're looking at. Everybody else, you see what the economists are talking about. They're talking about recession. A mild recession does say B of A. A recession, says Morgan Stanley. Oh, or a recession in 2023, says the fortune, citing numerous economists. I believe it was 31 economists, by the way. So they're all saying there's going to be a recession this year, next year. What does that tell you? All-time 41-year high in inflation? That ought to tell you something also. If you want to check out any of these articles, they're down below in the description so you can get your financial literacy on. Here is Burry's asset management company scion asset management here's the holding six positions hey does that mean maybe you should get in on some of these if you believe in his program if you believe what he's saying i i would i can't say nothing bad about it the guy has a peccable track record and some people always try to you know tear somebody down because some people refer to him as a clock is right twice a day But he's not sitting out here saying a recession every year, unlike some other people that try to make you buy gold and silver. Now, let's get into this. Kathy Woods, you know, the darling of Wall Street from two years, three years back when she had funds that was earning 40, 50, 30 percent year over year. People were like she was the superstar. But then COVID comes. And then just like most companies, losing 20, 30, 40 percent on the other side. So now she lost some of that shine off of her star, but she's saying, I'm sticking with it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to leave you with in her article as well, because interesting, she's still bullish on Tesla, Coinbase of all things, Block of all things, unbelievable. TSP, now TSP, two simple holdings. I have to admit, even I was sleeping on this, but here you go. Autonomous semi trucks for North American market. That may be something to look at because that's what's coming. AB5 law in California is going to be duplicated in other states. So these trucking companies are going to have to hire you independent contractors or they're not doing business in some states. And that's huge money off the table. So all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, that TSP may be something for you to even hold. And yeah, hedge fund holder 17. I don't blame them because that's the way it is. Now, look at this. Aero environment. This right here is a defense contractor. This is always a good company, just like Lockheed, just like Raytheon, defense contractors. It's always a good thing to have. AVAV. Now, we talked about this a couple years ago. So keep that in mind. Go look back and you'll see what's been happening over the last two years. AVAV. And it was brought to us 
Dubai and I, oh, I can't remember. I was just getting ready to say the man's name that used to be on our live streams with us. He's the one that told us about it two years ago. So Kathy Woods is now two years later saying, oh yeah, AV, AV. I'm just letting you know, you guys, you never know what's going to be dropped down on the live streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now VLD, I'm not going to get into all this because again, I just want to show you the darling of Wall Street or who used to be the darling of Wall Street. I just want to let you know what they're doing. And the funny thing about Michael Burry, he's shorting Apple. Now, I can't blame him for that. And some of you may not understand why he's doing that. It's simple. When there's a chip shortage, that's a problem for television, cell phones, anything that uses chips, that's a problem. Cars, that's why manufacturers can't even make their cars. That's why he's shorting Apple. I'm surprised he's not shorting automobile industries, but nonetheless, he's got fiat. I'm surprised he's not shorting uh, real estate companies like he did before uh, as well. But this is his portfolio again with Scion, what he's holding in there. That was er this was last year, actually, um, wasn't it? Or, or first quarter 2022. OK, because I know he reduced his holdings. That's why I'm saying I don't remember this many. But here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have a link down below and you can go to fintel.io. See it here on the screen and for everybody on podcast. F is in Frank. I, N is in Nancy. T is in Tom. E, L, dot I, O. There's some short information here as well in case you like to get interested in shorting some stocks. That's possible. So with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here once again. Please share the videos once again. And I humbly appreciate all the members and subscribers. We're over 14,000. Now, let's watch the videos and check the links down below in the description because I even have more than that. If you haven't gotten your other free Bitcoin from Coinbase and some other $5 of Bitcoin from Webull, then I have links down below for that. And don't forget, check out SSN Lifestyle. That's the sister to SSN Nation, creating it just for you. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that's why I started SSN Lifestyle because I knew it was coming. And that gives you a lifeline. Sign up as a member, you get extra perks. Sign up as a free referral affiliate, you still make money and you still can get into things like the 5100 passive income opportunity that's what you can get into, ladies and gentlemen. And it's open right now. The link is down below in the description as well. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.